I'm Mike Heppel, I'm the course leader for Popular Music. Um, this is a BTEC course, so unlike traditional A-levels, there's lots of practical assessment. Um, if you do the Popular Music course, generally you tend to be um, a guitar player, drummer, bass player, piano player, or a singer. And most of the assessment's based on practical projects. Um, I'm a professional musician myself outside of college, so every task that we do is rooted in what really happens in the music industry. Um, one of the first students is we go through all the different genres and eras of popular music and as a guitar player or bass player or drummer you'd be expected to play in a 1950s rhythm and blues style, maybe it's a 1970s reggae style, as well as the sort of styles that you would normally play uh, usually as a teenager. You know? So you don't just play all rock music or all indie music or, or all pop music, we have to cover all the different genres. Um, so that tends to be the first term really, getting comfortable with playing in styles that you're not really used to. Uh, the other thing about the course that makes it a bit special is it's very ensemble based. You're working with a lot of team musicians all the time. You get to know everyone in the class, I think, quite well because of that. And you rely on each other to get kind of good work recorded. So you've got to kind of, you've got to make sure your parts are good so that everyone in the band can kind of shine. Um, all that work gets recorded on camera and it gets uh, published on YouTube. And then the other part of the assessment is you tend to then log that work on Google Documents where you upload your YouTube clips and it's sort of like a diary. You explain what you're doing, why you're doing, and you kind of evaluate the strengths and weaknesses of that particular recording. In a way, it wouldn't matter too much if you do recording, there's some errors in it because you can get um, credit for noticing the things you, that you do wrong and, and then knowing what to do to fix it, basically. Um, so it's 100% uh, practical work, 100% uh, coursework, there's no written exam um, and all you need to do the course is some basic level skills on your instrument. We can't measure that through GCSEs or anything like that so what happens usually just before you start the course you have a short five minute kind of uh, interview audition type process with me where I just check you know your basic chords, you can play a decent rhythm on the drums uh, and you're a fairly confident singer and that's the only entry requirement, uh, just a little five minute um, interview chat with me. Um, the course uh, is uh, a BTEC but it's a level three so it's the same sort of standard as an A-level and it's the same size as an A-level course so you can do this alongside two of the courses at QE. Um, and it counts just the same as A-levels. My students go off, some students go off and do music-based courses at places like uh, Leeds College of Music, uh, Lippa, um, the, the BIM Academies. Um, but equally, about half the students go off and do slightly more conventional courses at university, psychology, media, art, physics even, you know. So you can use it as a stepping stone like any A-level to a future career or a university course. Um, and equally, I like to think that if you've done two years of this course, you're at a sort of stand where you could be a professional musician. You maybe not going to be famous, but you could be working on weekends, you could be gigging, you could be doing studio sessions, you could be making your own recordings and releasing them on Spotify. And generally students who do the course and are successful are at that standard where they could do that at the age of 18. And some of our ex-students have gone on and, and are working professionally in the industry now. So I think the course is a good preparation for that.